after this. Stick around. And welcome back. Omar in Herndon, Virginia. Hey, Omar, what's on your mind today? Tom, the prophet, truth, justice, democracy, peace, prosperity, common good in the American way. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Back uh, at you. I don't know if you heard about Stephen Breyer's retiring from the Supreme I just, Court. Sean literally just handed me a print out okay. of the article about it. I was going to mention it when we came back on the other side of the break. Oh, my God. I mean, I just hope Mr. McConnell doesn't pull up the same trick he did with Obama. He can't. Not a guy. He can't. Do we Mitch have? McConnell blew up the filibuster for Supreme Court justices, and okay. the, the way that he was able to block uh, uh, Garland was because he was mm -hmm. the Senate Majority Leader, but Chuck Schumer is now the gotcha. Senate Majority Leader. So, you know, Breyer says he's going to retire in June, which means that we've got, what, March, uh, this is January, February, March, April, May, June. We have five months, really six months, of heavy duty holding our breath that no Democrat in the Senate dies, no Democrat in the Senate, like Kirsten Sinema or Joe Manchin, decides to become a Republican, in which case Mitch McConnell would be able to block Breyer's replacement. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, you know, I mean, there, yeah. <laughs> so we, we've got some serious breath-holding to do here for the next six or seven months. Yeah. And the real quick, Tom, on regarding crime, um, uh, and I know you talked about this yesterday, you know, I really think that, in my perspective, a lot of the reason why there's a high crime in the industry, I, I don't know if you know something called the Ferguson effect. After Ferguson, Missouri riot and, and, and uh, protests, a lot of police department kind of took a step back in solving crimes because yep. the, the clearance rate in some of these inner city is, is, is pathetic. It, it's, it's like in, in Chicago, it's like 9%. Yeah. In, in Philadelphia, it's like 18%. So I really think that the Ferguson effect. You know, which a lot of police officers said, hey, we're not going to solve any pro problem. We're just going to let things go. We're going to let murder go. Right. Might play a big role in bolding these criminals. They know they're not going to get caught. And that's you know, something that not, a lot of people are not talking about. That's a you good know? point, Omar. That's a very yeah, good point. Yeah. And what I want to talk about regarding uh, Tom, uh, Russia, I, I really think that the CIA failed in um, assessing Putin properly, his strength and his vision and what he's planning to do. You know, and, and the reason why I say that, Germany gets 50% of its gas from Russia. So that's something Do that... Do they now, that, or are they simply... Or you're talking about right through, now, on the pipeline through Ukraine. Right, okay, yeah, got the it. The pipeline through Ukraine. Right yep. now, Germany gets 50%. So if, if, if there's a war and, and the Russian cut off, that's going to basically uh, destroy the largest economy in Europe, which is Germany. Yeah. So, so, so it's really kind of... we kind of in a tough situation, but I think the best way to do it is really to go after these oligarchs because Putin is nothing without his oligarchs. Let's give you an example. Chelsea Football Club in, in England is owned by one of the oligarchs in Russia. Right. You know, that uh, alumina plant in Kentucky, that's owned by one of the uh, uh, um, uh, Russian I oligarchs. They, I think they never built that. They never built that? Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure they canceled that after Mitch McConnell campaigned on it and won. <laughs> or or <laughs> Rand Paul, one or the other. But the reason to go after Putin is go after his oligarch because they have 60 percent of their asset overseas in right. Monaco, in Europe. You know, so uh, putting the squeeze on him right now will really prevent him from from going to uh, uh, invade Ukraine, because I think he think that this is the right time to invade Ukraine. Yeah, I, I think you're right. And I think that that's what the Biden administration is thinking right now. With regard to the CIA, I, I just don't know, Omar. It would be interesting to know, you know, what kind of damage Donald Trump did over there while he was president. 21 minutes past the hour. We'll be back with more of the news of the day and your calls on the other side of this break. Stick around.